Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today we're going to be using a strength build centered around heavy attacks. I feel like this is one of my favorite builds to run because it's melee combat. Melee combat is always my favorite, and you get such large damage numbers out of the build. One of the setups for today involves using the Claymore with Royal Knight Resolve. The main idea is to go for a fully charged heavy attack and try to connect it when they're attacking you. So you're going for a trade, that way you can maximize the damage output with the Spear Talisman. You also want the Axe Talisman since we are going for the fully charged version of the heavy attack. The Roar Medallion is there for different setups. I plan to also use the Knight Rider Glaive with the Braggart's Roar. This has amazing trade potential on the R2, so when you're going for the heavy attack, you again want to trade because you can maximize it with the Spear Talisman. If you can, go for the fully charged version. It is kind of slow, but if you hit it, you can easily one-shot an opponent because you're going to trade them, have the Axe Talisman going, and of course the Roar Medallion. And when you are using the weapon that has a Roar buff, make sure you keep the Highland Axe in your offhand because it does enhance any type of Roar effects. If you're using a Roar Incantation, a Roar buff, it is going to be enhanced by this thing's passive ability. Another setup with the Braggart's Roar is to use the Stone Club. This gets the guaranteed 3-hit combo of the R2 attack. You can fully charge this as well, kind of do the same thing as you do with the Knight Rider Glaive, although it doesn't really benefit from the Spear Talisman, so you can definitely swap that out for something else. As for the stats, I am just running a pure strength build, so I do have 60 strength. We have 40 endurance because some of these setups are pretty heavy, and I'm not using the Great Jarrus, and I'm using the Urchie Fairy Plus 2 for the extra stamina and HP. The armor is a fashion set that I enjoy, but also has some pretty good poise when you are using the Bulgo Talisman. If I'm using the Claymore setup, I don't really need to use the Roar Medallion, so that's when I go for the Bulgo Talisman. That really covers everything that I have to say about the build, though. Let's just see how it performs in the invasions. Oh, the Moog Wind Palace. Let's go with Fred the Killer. All right, Fred. What kind of builds is Fred running? Dual Katana. Oh, he's got a wave of gold, friend, as well. Hey there, let me just uh, buff up here real quick. You know, it makes me stronger. Hey there, I see you guys trying to enclose me from both sides. Very optimal, very optimal. But um, I'm going to need you guys to just let me buff up a little bit further. Perfect, perfect. I'm going to make it look like I'm going for your friend here. But then we're going to go for you. <laughs> Accidental double kill, but you know, that's what you get for having 1200 HP. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful spawn. We have the Snowfield Catacombs. Is this down right now? No, okay. Hi there, guys. Ooh, two? Maybe three? Possibly? I see Katanas. I see wind. Your wind is unwelcome here, sir. Oh, is that, that is a Royal Knight Resolve in the corner over there. On a big hammer. I'm playing dodgeball for a little bit, I guess. Before we get into the actual fight. Hey there. <laughs> That's... Did I hyper armor the giant crusher with this? I know it has ridiculous hyper armor, but that's hilarious, man. I did not expect that. I thought I was going to get stunned out of it. And then it one-shot the host. <laughs> the Gelmir hero is great. Ooh, team of two. Oh, hello there. Hi, Phantom. Oh, boy. Will that hit me? Okay, no, it's not going to hit me. Hi there. How are you? Excuse you. I'm just going to buff up in your face. It doesn't really matter if you hit me. You can go ahead and hit me. You're going to get hit by that, though. Three. No, four? Okay. Here, try to trade with this. I actually wonder how much stamina damage that does. Wait. <laughs> well, that definitely one-shot him, but I'm a little confused. Does this have, like, a couple frames of the hit? Because it seemed to stun him, and then he died when I bounced off the wall. It was almost like a double hit. To where I... That was funny, though. <laughs> Hi there, Phantom. How are you? Bonk. Fantasy. I need you to just kind of heal so I can rebuff. That was mostly the point of that. Let me buff up here, sir. Hey, man. Why? Fantasy. Come here. Oh. Well, you're dead no matter what. You don't have enough HP. Where did Sir Hosty go? Hello there, Sir Hosty. How are you? Hey, you're safe in here. Oh, well, that was an uncharged one. Interesting. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm sorry, host. The heavy attacks are too powerful. And I just realized that I wasn't even holding the Highland Axe, so this could have been even stronger. The Ruin Strewn Precipice with Banshee. Banshee is shooting arrows at the at the bat. Interesting. You guys are pestering the poor bats. Did you just try to poison him? 
Oh my god, a wave of gold. Woo! Hello there. The wave of gold machine. All right, I'm down. Woo. I, I kind of figured that was coming out. Let me buff up here, boys. There's lots of love to be had on this build, okay? It's a fun one, I promise you. I just need to surprise attack one of you. Oh! I missed. Doesn't mean I can't go again. Oh, that has more range than I think. Attack? There you go. Nice. Also very close to bleeding, so we're not going to let that happen. Alright, here we go. The poor bat, he tried his best. Oh! Oh! Oh, there goes one. That wasn't even fully charged. That's crazy. I had to release it because I needed the hyper armor. Oh. Now I'm intrigued to see what it does if it is fully charged. But there is a blue coming, so we could test that further. I'd rather the blue get surprised by it. Blue. Come in here. Oh, the Royal Light Resolve wore off. That's funny. I'm going to pretend I don't notice those. Oh, let's go away. It's important that you, you leave. <laughs> this could be fun. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. Okay, fine. I'm coming up. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, another summon. Blue. Holy blue. <laughs> hey, blue. Hang on. I'm coming up, okay? Give me a second here. You gotta be low on FP, right? No? Okay. Alright, we're gonna go a step further. We're gonna use Braggart's Roar. I need a little bit more hyper armor against what I think is coming my way. Well, <laughs> true self taking some damage. True self down. <laughs> well, Wizard, come back. I don't have what I need equipped right now. Night shard. Oh, it missed. Night maiden's missed. Is the idea just roll? I guess it is. Well, so far it's working for you. Could you please go off the cliff? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> well, I guess you did your job for your host. He resummoned his ally. Hey there. Oh, wow, I'm getting hit by two of those. Well, now you go down. Hey there. Um, Moonvale. Okay. Oh. Ow. I didn't think that would hit. Okay. I didn't think he'd continuously just spam Moonvale, but why wouldn't he? <laughs> That's obviously the Moonvale MO. Okay, we're going to heal. Boo. I need them to kind of get away from the ladder so I can go up it, which I'm down for. Bop. Hey there, either you're going to take the hit or your friend is. I'll take that poison trade. Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> okay, Moonvale galore. I don't want the friend to chase me. Oh, they're not going to. Are they going to go back up the ladder? Well, he is. Uh, uh, uh. That rock kind of impeded me right there, unfortunately. Oh, I just out of range, sir. You have a lot of stamina. Actually, does he have a lot of stamina? I feel like he's kind of been out of it for a while. Okay. Now I'm coming up, Mr. Hostie. I need to test the damage on you. This has been a war that I was not expecting. Do you think he's making a full run for it now? Oh my god, he is! Okay, maybe we'll warp to try to cut him off. <laughs> he's just going. He's not going to be happy about where I spawned. <laughs> oh, that is rough. Hey, man. Where are you going? Are you seriously going up there? Oh. Bonk. Oh, wait. Is he just standing? Oh, my God. You're going to risk it? That's a risk, man. One that might pay off for you, but <laughs> that's a dead end. <laughs> They're going to have to face me eventually. 
Hey, man. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have any buffs going, but... <laughs> He's definitely just making a run for it. Get plunged! <laughs> stop running, man. Stop. Stop. There's lots of damage we can test. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you can't escape me after you make me fight like five phantoms. That's just that's just not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, crumbling Faramazula. Hello guys. No disrespect. Well I'm sorry, but I mean some <laughs> Next. Next on the line. <laughs> Come here, trade with it. Be brave! Be brave, Mashy, be brave. <laughs> Uh, sorry guys. I just, I really enjoy my Claymore R2s. Yes, the snow field. I feel like I always find a team of three in here. Um, a little bit afraid to get frost bit. There we go. Oh, they're taunted tongued as well. I want to go for the sun bro though. Hey, come challenge this. I dare you. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I, I kind of got the trade there. We did like 1600 damage. I want to see the full... Let me make sure we're full stacked here. Hello, Mirage Summer. I poison at that point had worn off, so. You're a good one to stack the damage against, sir. Alright, we get the we get the buff going from the poison. Come on, Data. I trade this now. I dare you. I dare you to trade it. <laughs> trade! That's not a trade. Come trade this. Oh! oh. 1757. Alright. As long as we have the poison buff going, we can one-shot around probably 1,800 HP, I would say. That's pretty good. Ambrosio. And, oh, what do we have here? A katana wielder. Oh, my God. Hello there, sir. That's actually not a katana. I'll give you that. All right, sir. So both buffing up immensely. Are you ready, sir? Do you have a teammate? Hello. I wave, but I also spread my uplifting aromatic everywhere. Hello? So a halberd? And you're summoning someone? Oh my god, that was half your HP. Oh my god, he's got a blue. I'll fight the blue first, man. Just because why not, right? Hey, blue. <laughs> blue. Look at that to him. He was really patient. He watched me R2 the air for a little bit. I just wanted to see if he would walk in. So that teaches me this blue is not very aggressive. We're not going to get easy trades off with him. That's for sure. So we got to make him roll off the cliff. Or we'll just get rid of him first. That seems like an easier time. <laughs> no? No follow? -up? Okay. <laughs> a rebuff. Since you're gonna let me stand here anyway. Maybe we'll go with the Claymore. This one's kind of more made for trades. And it doesn't seem like they're going to be aggressive enough to trade. Never mind. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> he rolled right into the end of the attack frames. And it one shot him. <laughs> we don't need the Claymore, I guess. Next time. Ooh, the Halig tree. Um. Okay, now I know I want to heavy attack someone, but this is the perfect opportunity for a bow. I can't really pass it up. <laughs> hey, hosty. Bonk! <laughs> or was that the phantom? I don't know. Oh, that was a phantom. Good, good. Alright. Next on the list, we have to find the host. Oh, there he is. Hey, hosty. Oh! Good dodge, good dodge. Keep up that energy. Hey, man. Bonk. <laughs> oh, okay. Lucky, lucky. Bonk. Well, you know what? You died to the bow rather than gravity, but still. This is such an optimal place for a great bow, to be honest. You can't just pass it up when you see the opportunity. Whoa. Lakeside Crystal Cave. Hello there. Spree killer. How are you? What's up, guys? Oh, oh, oh. Guard broke. <laughs> oh my god, front flips galore over there. Oh, that guy is done. Wow, that was a lot of damage on that crit. I was not expecting that much from that kind of weapon. But I will take it. Hey there. <laughs> Good jump attacks. Where am I, actually? I don't really know this area. 
Okay, I don't know where the host is. I think he was around, though. Was he? Back it up. <laughs> My club does work, man. I need to buff it, though, to be honest. That was your opportunity to heal. Now he's going to go for the heal. Bonk. Bonk. Wait, what? What happened to your host? <laughs> Did he fall off the cliff? You know, it is really dark over here if no one has a lantern, to be honest. I was being very careful, so that probably did happen. War dead catacombs. Nice. Wait. Maybe they're here. Alright, now I think we're with them. <laughs> I think my spawn was originally good. Hello, guys. How are you? What's this? Gear Souls. I hope you're not the host. I don't honestly remember if you were by the name. That's a wizard and a half. Hi there. Yeah, you look like the type to not chase me. That's fine. Well, let's get some free regen going. Well, since we can't exactly reach you from where we are right now, we're just going to do this for some fun. That's the host. I don't want to kill those, but we want to scare the host. Oh my god, that was a two for one bow shot. <laughs> Hello, gear. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'll keep trading. I'm down. Doubt if you are. Wait, the host is making a run for it. No. I was going to say, I don't hope you don't just go. <laughs> backstab? Oh, stuck on a corner. But still, ooh, we still got the backstab. Okay, well, you didn't die to the charged heavy, but you know. Hi there. <laughs> I won. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Unfortunate. I still want to know how your one teammate died. Oh, crumbling Faramazula with Butt McCheekies. Oh, hello, Butt McCheekies. Actually, you know what? I want to do the Claymore setup for this one. Hi, guys. How are you? Um, hello there. Don't mind me just uh, buffing up in your face. <laughs> His name, though. We heal that. I'm ready if you guys are. Hi there. Come trade me. It's fine. You dragon breathing. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Oh, that seemed like it would be a trade, honestly, but it wasn't. <laughs> he doesn't even have like the FD to keep going with that. Which is pretty funny. Oh, he does. Why'd he stop it earlier then? Sir, I'm going to need you to stop. <laughs> or just hit me like that. That's fine. Stop it, sir. <laughs> I have tests I must run on you guys, okay? The Dragon Breath is uh, not helping it at all. You know, I'd even be down to trade your Ash of War, to be honest. But I need you to do it. Ready if you are. Oh, I'll trade your Dragon Breath. 1655, okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't even know if that counts as a counterattack on a Dragon Breath. Which makes that pretty funny. It would count against that, but I need him to actually do it at the exact time I'm going to R2 him. <laughs> Sir, walk into this. I promise you. You'll do just as much damage. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I can backstab you at least. <laughs> then we can go for the R2 wake up. Oh. I started it too late. Yes, use the weapon, friend. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Butt McCheeks and Mike Oxmall. <laughs> Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today, centered around the heavy attack build. I hope everyone enjoyed the invasions. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I used throughout the showcase, and the weapons that I used, mostly the Claymore, the Knight Rider Glaive, and the Stone Club. I love these three, honestly, for this type of build. If you guys have any recommendations for any builds, weapons, or themed videos, feel free to comment them below. I do appreciate all the input that you guys give. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.